Good morning. Morning. Oh, I, I oh I thought something was. Good morning. Oh, I thought I wasn't hearing anything. So okay. Morning. Morning, Kadima. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teachers, parents, and the students. Thank you very much for joining us this morning in our General Assembly. This morning, we're giving God thanks for all that he has done for us, for who you are, and for the blessings that he has given to us throughout our lives. We are giving thanks. It is a morning to say, thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. I would like to read for you a passage of scripture taken from Psalm 136, verses 1 to 9. It says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, 
his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. This is the word of the Lord. And it would be nice if we all open our mics and say, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Yes, God. We have so much to give God thanks for. Amen. As children, as students, you have to give God thanks for all the provisions that he has made for you. You have to give God thanks for your wonderful parents who have been taking care of you all of your life. We have to say thank you, Lord. And we are not going to be preaching this morning as we have called you together to bless you, to say thanks to you for being a part of our educational system here at Liberty and to recognize you for the hard work that you have done. So at this time, I'm going to ask Miss Kelly to pray for us. Miss Kelly, please go ahead. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for today. You just reminded us in your words that your love endureth forever. And this morning, we want to give you thanks for your love that has endureth forever. This morning, God, I put our children before you. I put our staff before you. I put our parents before you as we get together for a moment to recognize the excellence of our children, especially in these times with the pandemic going on, our students were still able to excel and we are happy they were able to do so. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your love. And as we go throughout this ceremony, I pray that we'll put a huge smile on our children's faces when they see their name and hear their names, knowing that they have done well. Continue to dwell among them, Jesus. Continue to lay your hand upon them that they may be excellent in every area of their lives. These mercies I ask in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Amen. Ms. Amen. I am going to hand over to our guidance counselor, one of our guidance counselors, Ms. Watson, to give us a motivational talk. Right over to you, Ms. Watson. Thank you, Ms. Garrett. Good morning, everybody. So I'm, Good I'm morning. happy to be a part. Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy to be a part of this ceremony today. And Good morning. Really this ceremony today, <laughs> morning, Kalima, is to honor the students and to let every one of us know that we can be excellent the teachers, mm -hmm. the parents, and the students. So we want to let each and every individual know today that they are excellent. But what is excellent, guys? If we look at Daniel 12, it says, for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding and interpretation of dreams and showing of hard sentences, um, dissolving of doubts, um, the, we found that same in Daniel. And the king called him and he called upon him. That is Daniel 12. But it's important for us to know, guys, that excellence is not only in academics. We can be excellent by applying the things that we know to help ourselves and to help others. But let's look at what Daniel, what it says in Daniel. Now, Daniel had interpretation of dreams. This must mean that Daniel was excellent in being close to God and communicating with God. And that's one of the things that we want to keep and to remember that in being excellent, we must be communicating with God and keep close to God. The other part of that scripture said that he dissolved doubts. 
This must mean he was excellent in motivating himself. And so when you look at that, we must be excellent as well in motivating ourselves and taking away the doubts that we might have about ourselves and know that we are great, we are good at all that we do. We must also and always motivate ourselves. The other part of that scripture says that he was keen, which really means that he, he was eager. So he had a keen mind in, for in knowledge and understanding. So that means, guys, that he always wanted to learn something new. And I know most of you here love to learn things new. And for our parents, our teachers, and students, it's important that we find that excellence through learning new things each day and being eager for taking in knowledge and understanding. The other part of that scripture said that he solved difficult problems and riddles, one version says. So that must mean he was excellent in helping and empowering others. Again, excellence is not only in academics, guys. It's about how we use the skills that we have to empower others, to help others, and to lend a hand to those who might need it. Need it. So we're sharing our knowledge, guys. We're learning new things, and we're helping those that are around us. Now, because of this, the Bible says that Daniel was called. He was preferred. So when doing these things, guys, we not only make ourselves excellent, we not only get awards for being excellent, but we get favor. So persons want to call upon us, people want to be using us, to, using our skills and to encourage us and to put us in areas that, may, that we might not think that we, we should be in. It says in 6.3, Daniel 6.3, that Daniel was preferred above presidents and princes because of his excellent spirit and God has put an excellent spirit in all of us all teachers all parents and all students so we must know that because of the excellence that God has put in you that got you where you are today guys it will get you in front of princes it will get you in front of the president in front of the leader of our country just by using the things that you have, guys, to encourage others and to continue to build and to grow. All right, guys? Yes. yes. <laughs> Great. Yes, miss. All right. But what is it that what is it that causes us to remain excellent? Because though we can get to the top by doing the things that we need, we have to maintain or we have to continue to be excellent. Now, for the parents, for the students, and for the teachers, it's important, guys, that we organize ourselves. Organizing ourselves is a part of what makes us excellent as teachers, as students, and as parents. So multitasking is not very good, guys, because they tell us that the brain can only focus on one thing at a time, one or two things. So when we do several things at a time, it, cause, it causes us not to be so good in the main thing that we want to do. So it's important that we do one thing at a time so that we can be excellent at that thing. For our students, it's important that we have a study timetable. For most of you would have gone over that study timetable as well. So that's important to help us to maintain our excellence in school. We need a study timetable. Study hard, of course. So that's important. We don't just want to breeze through the books, right? And for parents, it's important that you help the children to study hard and to maintain that schedule that they might have put in place. It's important, guys, that we get our rest. So go to your beds at night. Parents, ensure that the students are going to their beds early. Rest is very important to develop their brains and to develop their character, who they are, and so that they can remain healthy. And finally, it's important, God, um, guys, to put God first so that we can maintain our excellence and always be excellent. So again, I want to congratulate everyone and to tell each and every one of you that you are all excellent because God made us and God made no mistake in making us. So there's nothing that is within you that is wrong. 
nothing that is within you that God made a mistake on. So we must always remember that to use all of what we have to make and to break ourselves to become excellent. All right? Okay, thank okay, you. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Watson. And just to get you to participate, if you could just type something in the chat to get you to participate, students. We're talking about excellence and we're talking about Thanksgiving. I do not see anything in the chat as yet. Something as some that we can do, guys. To... Or excellence, yes. Yes, Miss Watson, go ahead. Yes, I was asking guys, what are some of the things that we can do to make sure that we maintain our excellence and that we always get awards? Yes, I can see in the chat. Trying to believe in yourself and achieve goals by working together. Here is a quote yes. I heard, and here's a quote I want you all to hear. It's coming up. Just don't rush. Okay, go ahead, Kalima. <laughs> it's from a it's from a character named Merida from, Bra from Disney Pixar anime film Brave in 2012. She said this. Listen. If you believe in yourself and what you can do, just stand tall and your aim will always be true. What do you think of the quote? Want you to tell me? Beautiful. That's awesome, Kalima. So believe in yourself, stand tall, and believe in all of what you do. Yes. So Daniel did believe in himself Excellent. as well. Right. Oh, so we want to believe in ourselves. Cool. Daniel encouraged himself. Good job. Excellent. And I see from Zane, always do your work. Yes, Zane. From Miss hey. Janet. Thank you. Stay at work towards your goal. Jordan, Oilet, study what you learn in class. Yes. Good job. Good job, guys. Excellent. Wonderful. Someone says, try to believe in yourself and achieve goals by working together. What about our parents? Is our parents available there to tell us what are some of the things that they can do to help our students remain excellent and to be even better at being excellent? What are some of the things that you can do as parents? Come on, we want to hear from the parents. All right. Liam Anderson says, practice and look over your notes. Good. And Layla goals. says, if you want to achieve your dreams, you have to study and work hard for it. Thank you very much. Good. Okay, Leon Hall says, you must be responsible and be who you are. Do not pretend to be like anyone else. Be yourself. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Estacia says, encourage and support our children, a parent. Miss slash Mrs. Thank Ferguson. You. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. Wonderful. We are online, but we can still be interactive. So thank you all for that. Now, students, Mr. Berla, are you ready for me? Students, you have worked very hard during the pandemic. And I must say that you have been so resilient. My God, we are so proud of you. So based on that, we have prepared certificates of achievement to recognize your hard work. The, yes, we have set two boundary lines and they will change. But just being in this pandemic, we decided that at this time, the students who have been uh, amassing an average of say 70 and over, 70% and over, we are giving them certificates for satisfactory uh, performance. And those with over 80% will get the outstanding. Now these will change. It is simply for encouragement at this time because normally the ones who get the outstanding certificates are those who are getting 90% and over. So for this term, that's what we are going to be using. 75% and over, satisfactory. 90% and over will be the outstanding ones. 
So I just want to make that clear. We are encouraging you at this time. You have been doing great, great. So I say great job to my teachers, great job to the parents and great job to all of our students. So we are going to be doing the names now of those persons. You will collect the certificates from your form teachers beginning tomorrow morning for those persons who are face-to-face. -face. Those who are online, you'll have to make arrangement as to how you will collect these certificates. So Mr. Burr, please go ahead. Just a quick second, Angie. All right. While Mr. Burrell is getting that quick second, let me, is my HSA president on, Auntie? Are you in a position to talk, Auntie? I may not yes, think. Yes, I am. Good morning, All everyone. right. Um, could you just... Give us a one sentence, one sentence of encouragement to our students and oh. parents. I know you're excellent, so you, you, are, you can be spontaneous. Well, first of all, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, it's very, very amazing that they were already in February, running into March very quickly. And... We just don't want to get ahead of ourselves or even get ahead of um, God. And so it's very important for us to be just centered and to be just anchored in, in the Lord as we seek to really maximize all of the opportunities and the blessings that he has in store for us for this year. I want to encourage the students. I know for some, this is a critical year in terms of examination, examinations. So I want to encourage you to understand that God will help you to accomplish all the things that you need to accomplish. You can do it with God's help and to encourage the teachers as well to just also be, be focused and also rely on God to help you to impart what it is that you need to be imparting to the students at this time. And just to give a word of encouragement to parents it has been a trying time for, for everyone, teachers, parents, um, children, but this is a time to become resilient and to tap into the strength, <laughs> the strength that is within you when you partner with God. And so that is my encouragement for everyone. We will have our HSA meeting um, on the 23rd of February. And I'm hoping that all parents will be able to join in and to just make your contribution, make your, just participate because together we can build a stronger and better school. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Auntie Diana, for your words of encouragement. Yes, our teachers have been like troopers. They have survived the worst. Thank you so much, teachers. Wow. Are you ready now, Mr. Burrell? Uncle Dwayne? Yes, I think you can go ahead now. All right, please go ahead. Please listen for your names and also look at the screen. Edward Clark. So we are doing the resource room, Edward Clark. Ashley Cox, Tishon Lawrence, Leanna Lounge, Matthew Pusey, Brianna Thames, EC1 now, Enrichment 1, Mr. Burris Class, Rodai Russell. Marcus Fraser, Malik Johnson, EC2, Mrs. Coleman, Coleman's class, Denver Hunter, yes, <laughs> Janika Reynolds, 
Andre Bacchus, Jadon McDonald, Rafik Roberts, Brianna Wright, EC3, Nathaniel Scott, Madison Ellis, Leanne Hall, Kersha Hunt, Grade 7, Leanna Burgess, Avanish Srinivas, Tyler Grant, Leron Mead, Devon Clark, or Devane Clark, Grade 8. Abigail Evans, Demaria Martin, Kareem Musra, Musra, Grade 9, Zoe Anor, Stephanie Arthurs, Dean Barrett, Jaden Kogel. Bastille Davidson, Ryan Linton. Yes, my son. <laughs> Coley Walker, Chloe Walker, Jaden Yap. Grade 10. Dana Brown. Mally Clark. Brittany Koff. Dante Kelly. Dejane Edwards, grade 11, Kyle Ford, Mizana Rodriguez, Alif Yusuf, thank you very much. Mr. Burrell, and I would like us all to go to our reactions button at the bottom and to clap. Let me see a clap coming from all, please. The reactions button at the bottom. I am not seeing it. Keep it going, please. I hope that we did not miss any name. Is it that some people cannot find the button? Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. You have done very well. You have made us proud. You have made yourselves proud. Keep up the hard work. And I know that the parents who are on this morning are very proud of you. Congratulations to you all. God bless you. At this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Our Vice Principal, Mr. McGowan, to close off in prayer. After we close, you are going to join your classes. That's the class that you would go to after devotions in the mornings. And we hope and pray that when we join on this forum at the end of this term we will see even some more names especially those who are in the outstanding category i know that you can do it anything at all that you set your mind to you can achieve so greatness is in you greatness is in you please tell yourselves that that greatness is in you and it is one of my favorite terms. Greatness is in you, despite what is happening around us. Mr. Magoan? All right, I'm not hearing from Mr. Magoan. I am going to ask Mrs. Chambers, could you close us out in prayer, please?
Mm. Is this Jane Berson? All right. Father, we just want to thank you for all of our students, parents, and the teachers who work at Liberty. God, I thank you for each life and pray that you will continue to pour into us. And as you pour your blessing into us, Lord, we pray, mighty God, that others will be blessed from that which you have poured into us. Lord, we pray that your spirit of excellence will continue to rest upon our teachers, parents, and students, and that you will continue to provide for all of us. Lord, we pray that you will keep us safe from this pandemic and from other diseases. Keep us strong, healthy, and normal, and we will not fail to give you thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. Amen. Have a blessed week, students, Same to you teachers, too, Miss. and Thank you. parents. Good job, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.